Yeah, you guys, we back again. Shout out to the Vons and Vonettes. We are definitely in the building. And I got to keep saying the Vons and Vonettes, and I'm the two Von, because I have to keep Vono name alive, because Vono wasn't this, this much of a bad guy. Now, I can't say Vono ain't did nothing bad in his life, or ain't took nobody down. You see people like Mr. Malcolm Stucky and things like that, but all of these bodies, y'all, they are getting too out of pocket with it. But hold on for a second, um, all the bodies. Give me a second real quick, bodies, so I can say uh, shout out to my people right quick. And I hope you all is having a great day because me, myself, personally, is so far so good. And I'm going to try to keep it that way. You feel me? But you guys, we have another problem with another body on here, you see. So first off, we're going to start off like this. Now, the first thing we're going to say, you guys, everybody I already know. The Malcolm Stucky body belongs to Mr. King Vaughn. He has to wear that one like a trophy. But the only reason why I say that one is because the Malcolm Stucky body was the one that he was um, eventually um, had to go sit down for. And he rarely escaped that, you know what I'm saying, because Big Mike was telling on him and all that stuff. And then Big Mike took his statement back and Mr. Vaughn had to get out, um, gone home because Big Mike really didn't tell on nobody but himself. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to know this here. Now, let me tell you this here. And you'll know um, what I'm talking about by the end of this video. Now, um, the only reason why I think they even came and got Vaughn for the Malcolm Stucky body is because Malcolm Stucky wasn't a part of that whole little um, drill scene out there. This guy was from the suburbs. I haven't seen the picture where his sister got up there and put a picture of Vaughn up there, and she was snapping, man. She was like, how does dude get out to become a rapper, and he took my brother out the box and all this stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? And I can't fault the lady for what she said. You feel me? But um, this is one of the reasons why I think they grabbed Vaughn for the Malcolm, because it's, it's either like this. Well, I'm going to go and get this out the way now. It's either like this with these bodies that they give giving Vaughn. Um, a few of these bodies, y'all, it was like they had too much evidence. They had people pointing Vaughn out and all type of stuff. And if they ain't go pick them up and see the two things, all that time they out there and got witnesses pointing Vaughn out and all that stuff, you see the two things with that. Either they wanted Vaughn to continue what he was doing or either Vaughn didn't do it. You see what I'm saying? Because there's no way you got witnesses on all these cases. And people who allegedly got shot by Vaughn and pointed Vaughn out in photo spreads and everything. But he never went to jail. He never got picked up for it. Never went to jail. No, no. He got picked up for a couple. Let me say, every time he got picked up for a body, they just charged him with a weapon. And evidently, the weapon they charged him with couldn't have been the weapon that he did nothing with. You see what I'm saying? Vaughn has got caught with a weapon, all, I think, two times. So I guess those weapons was of no significance to nothing, you see, because he was let out. So the Malcolm Stucky body is Vaughn's. You see what I'm saying? The Malcolm, Malcolm Stucky body is Vaughn. He had his co-defendant that testified on him and everywhere didn't testify, and that's why the case was gone, but he um, cooperated on him at first. Okay, so we got the Malcolm Stucky out. Vaughn is up one body right now. He's just up one body, and we got all these other bodies up here to go through real quick. Oh, at first I didn't remember about this Tariq body. Okay, this Tariq body is that Atlanta body. This is the one where the dude got um, did up in Atlanta, and then they was, uh, I remember when it was all on social media, and they was all saying Vaughn and Zoo them and all that stuff like that, but I already seen all that. I seen that. I already knew back then. I forgot that was him, but no, Vaughn didn't do that one either. You even had the dude, Uncle, got up there, and um, you even had the dude, Uncle, listen, they was trying to put the body on Vaughn so bad, even in Atlanta. Dude, Uncle even got up there and did an interview. He was like, man, I don't know what. Vaughn had nothing to do with that. He said, that dude had nothing to do with that. I don't even see why these people even saying that dude's name. But, you know, they were trying to set Vaughn all the way up from Atlanta to Chicago. And you can't say I ain't telling the truth because Vaughn lost his life in Atlanta, right? Okay, my point exactly. So, Mr. Tariq... Vaughn doesn't have that body, but he has the mouth of Stumpy. So now Vaughn is um, acquitted of one of these bodies that is up here on this photo.
Now to little James. Now, I already told y'all how I feel about the body little James, the body on little James. I don't think Vaughn got that one either because this is an older guy. Lil James wasn't uh, really in that stuff like that. Well, I don't really know, but I know he's an older guy. And I'm just looking at, like, why would Vaughn drill him out? You see what I'm saying? And then, again, we have, like, no evidence, no nothing. They just said this guy got shot, and then they just said, hey, Vaughn did it. Throw it in the bag with Vaughn and all the rest of the bodies Vaughn got. So far as the Lil James guy you got, I'm saying Vaughn don't have that body either. So now Vaughn has been acquitted of two bodies on the list of bodies that Mr. Vaughn is supposed to have. And y'all already know what I told y'all about the man-man body. I'm not going to even speak on the man-man body. I'm not going to even say if Vaughn got it or he don't. Because allegedly they trying to say that Mr. Vaughn allegedly paid someone to do that. And the people that they're allegedly trying to say that Vaughn paid are still out here moving around. So I'm not going to touch the man man can't get right. So I'm going to just, um, the man man can't get right. Well, what should we put it at as of right now? Well, I can't put it as a body because I'll be like saying that he did it. So, <laughs> and then I can't say he didn't did it. So what we're going to do is turn this one into a neutral. This one right here is neutral. You see what I'm saying? So what Vaughn has right now, he has the Malcolm Stuckey, Malcolm Stuckey body. He has um, been acquitted of the Tyreek body. He has also been acquitted of the Little James body. And we have a mistrial on the man man body as of right now. And now we have the dirty rail body. You guys, Vaughn didn't even do the dirty rail body. See, and reason why I'm saying Vaughn didn't do the dirty rail body, y'all, because I read all the evidence on the dirty rail body. It has nothing to do with Vaughn. It has nothing to do with nobody. It just says that this guy was shot at three o'clock in the morning. And he's from Peoria. Peoria man shot at 3 o'clock in the morning, and that's it. They have nothing on it. They have no no ballistics, nothing to say Vaughn did it. They didn't even mention Vaughn's name. You see what I'm saying? But I guess they probably mentioned it after Vaughn was gone. You see what I'm saying? But the original articles didn't mention them that everything just say a Peoria man was shot on the south side of Chicago. You see, and then by him being alleged affiliate of STL and O Block, I mean, STL and Gyro City and all that stuff, y'all. So they played it like this because he was a Philly of Gyro City and all that stuff like that. So they played it like basically because Dirty Rail lost his life up there, but they don't know who did it. It happened at 3 o'clock in the morning. This man was up here visiting from out of town. They don't know who did it, but they trying to say Vaughn did it because they saying he was the retaliation for White White. You see what I'm saying? Because White White allegedly get took him down right after the Dirty Rail guy. So they trying to say White White was for um, White White was was knocked down for retaliation um, to Dirty Rail. But I can't see how they're pointing the finger at Von. Them. They have nothing on it. They just have a Peoria man shot on the south side. You see what I'm saying? So I just look at it like the rail body. They just throwing it in the pot with the rest of them. You see what I'm saying? Like, hey, forget it. Put it on Vaughn. You feel me? Because you got to come with real circumstantial evidence to be having a guy up here trying to say that he killed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and probably more people. You see what I'm saying? But guess what? And you have to go through all these cases with a fine tooth comb a fine tooth comb and you gotta have your eyes dotted and your t's crosses guess what now say if one or two people on here von didn't kill then the person who really did it is getting away right so what is the point of your job you feel me say if von didn't take none of these people life then you have eight nine ten eleven twelve people that's getting away you see what i'm saying that can go do more 
You feel me? And that just tells me that you're not doing your job. See, because for you to be able to put a person up and somebody got eight, nine, ten bodies and all, you got to come correct. You can't come like this. The last people I seen that got caught with all these bodies like this and they put on not even the Goonie Boss guys. They got them boys. They they got them boys on some other stuff. You see what I'm saying? They, they screwed up when they hit that store down there and came across some state lines and the feds got involved and they posted them guns and stuff. But the last time you'd have seen a big, uh, uh, a big like uh, uh, um, case like this, and this is why they're trying to say Vaughn a serial killer. See, because you see how he got the faces up here like this. This is how they do serial killers. You see how when a serial killer they put all of their um, their victims and stuff up there like that. This is the same how they post them up there. You feel me? And the last time you have seen this, and when you see them post them them pictures up like that with serial killers and stuff like that. Y'all, that's 20 years, 17, 18, 19, 25 years worth of investigation before they get them people. You see what I'm saying? So you telling me Vaughn was out here running around doing all this and he was this slick till he ain't leave. Vaughn ain't left a, a strand of hair. Vaughn ain't had hair all this time trying to grow dreads. He ain't left a strand of hair nowhere. Vaughn ain't left a bullet nowhere. Vaughn ain't left a fingerprint nowhere. Vaughn ain't left a car nowhere. You see what I'm saying? You just got them saying these people has been bodied and Vaughn did it. You see what I'm saying? Because Vaughn was allegedly tweeting at the same time when people was losing their life. And that's crazy. See, I'm the type of person, and I'm pretty sure that them people in the judicial system too, the, 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 the ones that ain't crooked, the ones that's in the judicial system too, them folks say the same thing I said and the same thing millions and millions of more people will say that has common sense. And you come in here talking about some, okay, we finna charge this young man with all of these bodies right here. You see what I'm saying? And they're going to say, where's the evidence? You have bodies on here that couldn't even get past the state's attorney. You see what I'm saying? Modell body didn't even get past the state's attorney. KI body didn't even get past the state state's attorney. But the craziest part about the Modell and KI body, they both had witnesses on them. See, you see, what I'm trying to say is, is just these tweets and stuff can't get Vaughn convicted. You see, can't get him convicted. But for some strange reasons, he he's getting convicted now. Vaughn down there don't even know. Vaughn sitting down there. If Vaughn could come back to life right now, Vaughn be like, what? They tell me I'm a serial killer. Then they had the nerve to say, Vaughn was finna go to the feds with his guys. He lost his life two months before that. No, they knew they was gonna take Vaughn out two months before that. And they knew two months after that, they was coming to get Moonwalk now. Facts. <laughs> See ya. Uh, See, here's the, here's the next one. Doc, this is my favorite one. Doc, this is my favorite one. Yeah, wait till you hit the story on Doc. But you guys, this is what I want to say, y'all. This is how serious this stuff is. If you would pay attention, y'all, we is up here playing Jeopardy with lives that they didn't gave to Vaughn. We up here playing Jeopardy with bodies that they didn't allegedly gave to Vaughn. It's getting too much out here in the field, you guys. Now we have Mr. Doc right here. Hey, what's up, Doc, brother? Don't worry about it, Doc. I'm going to get the J-O-B-D-O-N-E, just like I always do about this T-I-M-E. Hold on, you guys. Before we say that, let's keep up with the score. We have the Malcolm Stucky Vaughn has been convicted for. And then we have the Little James. Vaughn has been acquitted for that one. And Mr. Vaughn has been acquitted for the Tyreek body as well. And Mr. Vaughn has a mistrial on the man man body. You see what I'm saying? But you guys, we have Mr. Doc. This is my favorite one. Now, this is the body that they charge Mr. Vaughn with. And this is Mr. Modell's uncle. Now, they charge Vaughn. They give this body to Vaughn. But guess what, y'all? They didn't tell us the inside story. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the inside story right now. Now, this guy right here, he was allegedly shot, right? So, he was shot. The police come to the scene to clean up the scene because it was a shooting. Now, when the police get there, they cleans up the scene. And when I say they cleaned up the scene, they really cleaned it up because 
this where well, they really cleaned it up, but then they didn't clean it up. But I'm going to tell you why they didn't clean it up first. Because all the time they out here allegedly supposed to clean the scene up, the guy, Mr. Doc, is laying in the bushes, you guys. He's in some, they keep saying tall weeds, but we're going to give him that. He was laying in some tall weeds, you see what I'm saying? But for some strange reason, what they was cleaning up was gun shells because Mr. Doc had a 29-year-old cousin out there, and she was a woman, and she got on the news and said that the police threw the shell casings away. And why she's saying that, check this out, and the police just cleaned up. She's telling the news this, and Mr. Doc is laying in some high weeds. You see some tall weeds, but the strange part is that they all left and went on about their day. And then his nephew, Mr. Modell, found him. Isn't that strange? So how is we going to get Vaughn that body? And they threw the shells away. Why would they be throwing the shells away when they know Vaughn is allegedly a suspect and they're going to come charge him down the line? That's why they threw the shells away. You see, I just told you that on my last video. So we have Mr. Doc. Vaughn is, Vaughn is totally, totally clear of the Mr. Doc body in the door. Don't even bring this back in my courtroom again. See, today I'm playing the judge. You see what I'm saying? You know I'm a lawyer. But I plan the judge today. You know what I'm saying? She, Dirk Lawyer can play. Dirk, Dirk Lawyer can play a Clayton County police and pull Vaughn over the address. I mean, in, at the airport to get his address, and then she can be Dirk Lawyer. So why can't I be a lawyer and a judge? Amen. Preach, church. Oh, now we have the Modell body. Now the Modell body, man. Now listen, now this this is right here now. I'm going to need a little help on this model because, I don't know, I might have to give a mistrial or something on the model today. But, you know, we're not going to give a mistrial on the model. We're going to give a continuance on the model. But I'm going to let y'all know my opinion on it, and then I'm going to let my jurors go on and chill, and I'm going to need y'all to come back, and, and we're going to figure out models because I'm going to let the jurors do this right here because we having a problem with this model body because we got to go and talk to internal affairs about these police and stuff. Now, now you guys, we have some of Mr. Model friends that went um, back to retaliate the things that happened to Model, so they went back for retaliation, and they happened to be shooting up the O. You see what I'm saying? They went over there and shot up the O, but they was apprehended, and the people that was apprehended was Miss K.I. and someone else, and Miss K.I. said she refused to talk and say who did anything to Model. But the other guy allegedly said, hey, hey, I'm going to be the snitch today. I'm going to talk. So they alleged, and they asked him, hey, do you know Davon and Little Troy? And he was like, yeah, I know them. I know them good. I've been knowing them all my life. And then they got him in there, y'all. And um, he allegedly went in there, and he allegedly picked Mr. Davon Bennett, you know, a.k.a. Mr. King Von, out of a lineup, right? And then the crazy part about it is now, for some strange reason, he don't know T-Roy. So he was looking. He couldn't get the T-Roy right. So what the police did was told him, all right, young man, that's cool. You can leave. He didn't identify T-Roy. But as he left, before he can get home, the police beat him there. And they want another interview, but they want his mama to be sitting there. And that was the wrong thing they ever could have did because that's when he got some courage from somewhere and he looked at them police and he said, I wasn't even there when they took Modell down. Mama, I ain't told these people nothing. What is they trying to do? I ain't told these people nothing, Mama. And then Garcia and Jones, you know, the two detectives that's been on Vine, bumper for all these murders. Strange, huh? But they allegedly... Um, was walking out the door and was leaving. And then some mystery person came up and said, hey, he do know what's going on. 
He just don't want to be labeled a snitch. But then he turned around and now he remembers Vaughn and T-Roy. And he said, yeah, it was Vaughn and T-Roy who did that to me. But my thing was this here. When you was down the station the first time when you said it was Vaughn and you didn't and you couldn't remember T-Roy, I wonder why the police didn't go pick Vaughn up. But what was stranger than that, after he recanted his story again and said it was Vaughn and T-Roy, they never wouldn't pick it. Vaughn and T-Roy up. So with that being said right there, with that being said, guess what? We're going to say Vaughn didn't do Model Body right now. You see what I'm saying? reason why I got to say Vaughn didn't do Model Body is this here. Evidently, he ain't do it. The police ain't going to pick him up. Vaughn, the dude pointed Vaughn out. The police ain't going to pick him up. The dude picked Vaughn out of Two times out of photo lineups and circled them and put Davon Bennett on it. And the police ain't going to get Vaughn, so they know something I don't know. They got some evidence that we don't know about. And that evidence must clear King Vaughn of the Modell body. See, you can't give it to him when he gone. You're supposed to give Vaughn that was when he was here. So the Modell body is through out the way. Listen, y'all, I'm just keeping it a band. If the police didn't lock um, Vaughn up when Modell free and pointed him out, the dude that got shot too, when the police didn't lock him up, then who is me to say that Vaughn did it? You see what I'm saying? And that's the only reason why I'm saying that. So, um, he has beat the Modell case as well, you guys. So, now we have Vaughn acquitted of the little James murder. He's acquitted of the Dirty Rail murder. He's acquitted of the um, Modell murder. He's acquitted of the Tyreek murder. And Mr. Uh, Man Man, he has a mistrial on that murder. Now we're at K. I. Now, y'all already know what I've been screaming and yelling already. It's no secret. No, he didn't do K.I. We already know he ain't do K.I. because Butter became the witness after Vaughn was gone. You see, because the police knew all this all the time. Why they didn't pick Vaughn up for the K.I. murder? Because guess what? Vaughn had a witness on the K.I. murder that was allegedly shot as well. And his name is Butter. But for some strange reason, Butter came a witness after Vaughn was gone. And what do we need Vaughn and Butter for? You see what I'm saying? What do we need Butter for? And why did he start coming out telling on this man, Dave Vaughn Bennett? So with me, with that being said, y'all already know how I feel. We discussed this with the jurors already. We're not going to play with the KI case because we already know that Vaughn didn't do it. So he has been acquitted of the body of KI as well. Here we go, y'all. Now we have the P5. AKA crack. We have the P5 body. Now the P5 body, you guys, this is my favorite one. I thought Doc was my favorite one, y'all. But this one, the P5 body, y'all, got to be hands down. The best one that Vaughn allegedly supposed to have. And I'm saying that because of this here, you guys. Now we have Mr. P5. Now we already know. Uh, for all them years, it was said that J Money took P5 down. Him and P5 was messing with the same girl. And that's what J Money got took down at over there lacking with the girl. It was always said that J Money did that. But for some strange reason, they want Vaughn to be this serial dude so bad that they're going to put this P5 body on. And let me tell you why I'm saying that. Because um, they put the P5 body on him. But guess why they put the P5 body on Vaughn? Because of tweets. But check this out, you guys. Three minutes before P5 lost his life, Vaughn tweeted, L-M-A-O. We already know what that means. Laughing my off. You see what I'm saying? This is what Vaughn tweeted three minutes before this man lost his life, right? Now, check it out. Vaughn made another tweet, right? It said, 45th makes his ASS do 40 flips. So he was saying it's 45 will make him do 40 flips. But the strange part about that, Vaughn made that tweet at the exact same time that this guy was getting shot. The exact same time P5 lost his life, 
Vaughn allegedly supposed to be tweeting 45th, make his A do 40 flips. Now you tell me how Vaughn is blasting at P5, taking P5 down, y'all, and making tweets. He made a tweet three minutes before P5 went down and said L-M-A-O. And then at the exact time while P5 was getting shot, Vaughn allegedly supposed to have been tweeting 45th makes his A do 40 flips. Um, is Vaughn some type of superhero or something? See, because check this out. You got to put yourself in that predicament, y'all. Three minutes. You finna go drill somebody out. Three minutes before that happened, you make a text. You make a tweet. And then as you shooting them, you making a tweet. But let me explain to you this here. This is how that go. Um, it was J Money who did it. And Vaughn knew J Money was finna do it. You see what I'm saying? This is why Vaughn made it. This is why Vaughn made the... LMAO three minutes before that because J Money and P5 was messing with the same girl. You already know J Money probably got on the phone like, man, Vaughn, I'm finna take him down. You know what I'm saying? Vaughn will probably already know what you got. I got the four fifth with me. You see what I'm saying? And Vaughn made a text three minutes before Vaughn made a text three minutes before P5 got shot. He made a, he, he, Vaughn made a text, a tweet three minutes before P5 got shot. LMAO because, um, J Money told him what he was finna do. He probably was calling Vaughn. Tell him, see, Vaughn didn't even have to be there. Vaughn could have been right now. J Money could have hit him like, hey, yeah, crack over here. Ooh, I'm not finna take him down. Who up the band? And and and, and, and um, Vaughn already know what pistol we got. Like on the blocks, everybody know who got the four fifth. Who got this? They gonna know who got it. He already know what what he got. And then at the exact same time, while he getting drilled out, Vaughn make a a, a Vaughn make a, a tweet safe. My 45th, I mean, you say 45th, make his A do 40 flips. That's because they're that close and Vaughn heard the shots. Vaughn heard, Vaughn heard, um, what's the name, taking them down. Vaughn heard Jay Money taking them down. This is why Vaughn made that three minutes for, you think Vaughn out there looking at him, then gonna make a tweet three minutes before that, laughing my hand, and then Vaughn gonna make a tweet right after that. He can't do all that at one time. You see what I'm saying? Who's, you put yourself in that predicament. If you sitting there, you telling me Vaughn laughing on him, and then Vaughn, okay, let me tweet LMAO. He might finna walk out the house, or he might finna be right. And then as soon as he walk out, Vaughn run up on him. And as Vaughn drilling him out, Vaughn texting, my 45th makes him do 40 flips. Nope, he definitely ain't do the mold. I mean, he definitely ain't do the P5 body. I told y'all that last night. Jay Money did that. He ain't do it. And see that, them tweets right there ain't do nothing but confirm it for me. You see, this is how they be screwing up every time. Y'all. That tweet ain't do nothing but confirm it for me. Listen, the only way Vaughn can make a tweet at three three, um, three minutes before this dude uh, gets shot and killed, and then he's making a tweet at the exact same time that P5 is getting shot, that's because J Money called him and told him that crack is lacking and he finna take him down. And that's why Vaughn tweeted three minutes before J Money took him down, like laughing my whoopy bam. And then as J Money was taking him down, Vaughn was hearing the, the, the shots go off. And Vaughn texts, my 45th will make his A do 40 flips because he know what pistol J Money had with him, man. Don't take a rocket shot. See, this is why I say this dude was, y'all, this dude was reaching too hard to put it on Vaughn. He was reaching so much. Because you everybody already know about that time thing, like it, it, it's six hours uh, um, off time, so you got to multiply by six and all that. He only, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Vaughn, Vaughn. No, 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 sir, no, sir. Vaughn cannot be shooting. You, who do you think Vaughn is? Who do you think Vaughn is, y'all? Listen, three minutes before the dude gets shot, Vaughn tweet LMAO. At the exact time this guy is getting shot, Vaughn put 45th, makes his A do 40 flips. And then Vaughn threw some more sneak discs during the day, all through the day. Um, he can because Vaughn know he ain't do it and Vaughn know his man do it. He did it. Vaughn know his man did it. See, you don't know the game. Only thing Vaughn was doing was taking the heat off J Money. That's it. This is why Vaughn threw it up there, because he know they're watching him already. He was taking the heat off J Money, so they wouldn't even think J Money do it, because guess what? Everybody know that J Money messes with that girl. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody know that J Money messes with, with crack girl, and that's what Vaughn was doing. He was taking the heat off J Money. You see, making the tweets. Vaughn cannot be popping no guy. 
But listen, no one is finna tweet three minutes before they finna drill somebody out and then tweet as they drilling them out. Come on, man. Stop it, dude. Stop it. I don't care how how slick you be trying to talk, how your little accent is. And nothing. No, 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 no. I was born at night, but not last night. You see what I'm saying? Not last night. You feel me? Come on, y'all. Three minutes. It tells you right there that Vaughn was communicating with somebody that already had the low on P5. And finna take him down. It was Jay Money, the person they always said did it. And this is why Jay Money wound up catching that karma and losing his life right at P5 Girl Crib. You see what I'm saying? Losing his life over there, lacking with the bra. You feel me? It was it was Jay Money who did it, man. It was Jay Money who did it, man. I'm telling you, he's trying to put that on Vaughn. Vaughn cannot be making no tweet at the exact same time this dude is getting took down. And Vaughn can't even make no tweet three minutes before they take him down. You see what I'm saying? What, Vaughn is going to be riding and take P5 down and they tweeting? Nah, man, you lost your mind. See, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is Vaughn was just taking the heat off of Jay Money, you clown. <laughs> Vaughn was taking the heat off Jay Money, man. Listen, for Vaughn to for Vaughn to know, for Vaughn to text that LMAO three minutes before they took crack down, that's because Jay Money just called him and told him he had to drop on crack. Jay Money was probably right over there. They messed with the same bro. And then when Vaughn heard the shots going off, Vaughn went right up there at my 45th, make his A do 100 flips. And this is all why Vaughn threw that stuff up there like that. And he was tweeting all through the day because he was trying to take the heat off Jay Money. That's all Vaughn was doing. So as of right now, Vaughn don't have a Doc body. He don't have a little James body. The Modell body, he ain't got his weak because I look at it like we can say Vaughn ain't even got it because the police didn't go pick Vaughn up while you got witnesses pointing him out. Then he don't got the Modell body either. He don't got the P5 body. He don't got the Lil James body. He don't got the Tariq body. And he don't got the KI body. You see? Yes, see. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Because we can't even give him the KI body because if Butter the witness, then how long Butter have been witnessing? If he was a witness all that time, then we can't give him the KI money um, body because the police didn't come pick him up. You see what I'm saying? The police didn't come pick him up. And if he wasn't a witness then, um, before Vaughn, if he wasn't a witness um, before Vaughn died, then that proves my point that he became a witness after Vaughn died. Do you see what I'm saying? With this messed up play. Now, there you have it. Who's the serial dude? Them people who's up there putting all this trash together. Shout out to my Vaughns, my Vaughnette. And I'm out.